All right, so war lineup. We got Karan, Yap, Coleman, Chill, and Ricky. So a different team. Definitely a different team. Going against Sharaf, Youssef, Ayman, Hussein. Next warrior in. Why me? Ricky opening. So Ricky had the one star in the last war. Let's see what he does here. Two quakes. Super witches. What on earth? He's got to have the bow, right? What does he have? Now he's got frozen arrow. Fireball. Ah. Double quake and invis for fireball. Let's see what he can get here with the fireball. Is he going to try to hit this section here? I mean, he's going straight after the eagle with the angry jelly. I love the angry jelly is being used. Oh, but the archer tower is going to take down the... Oh, the log launcher got smacked around quite a bit. And maybe he wants that. Maybe he wants that to come out quick. Invising Warden. Bang. Hey, you know what? Not too bad. Not quite Klaus-like, but not too bad. Gets the model it down, which is super useful for sure. All right, Angry Jelly is no longer making Warden target defenses. He can go with the rest of the troops now. Super Wall Breaker in. Get the Super Witches in. Super Witches at Talos 16. That's, that's crazy. That is crazy. He's got a jump spell ready to go. There it goes. Still has RC ready. Here comes CC, of course. Ice Golems. Poison dropped. King with his splash will be useful for a few swings. RC is in. Perimeter Cannon will go down with the Loons. Town Hall down, no problem. The big boys going in as well. Doing work with, we're getting over to the storage, which would be nice for tanking. Nice freeze range there to slow down the scatter shot with RC heading that way. Super Witch is getting targeted though. They won't be able to generate any more big boys. They knew what they were doing with that name, right? They knew, right? RC doing work with the haste spell throws. Going against enemy king there. So lucky that she went for king instead of the skellies. My goodness. Spirit Fox couldn't keep her alive though. 41 seconds in an ability left for queen. The super wall breaker actually did a great job opening up for queen. He's got a pop ability here shortly. He has three big boys and three super witches still. I don't know how they didn't go down. I guess he's going to try to pop queen ability through a wall. Oh my gosh. The, the nemesis of super witches is time. It's always, always, always time. I mean, that's le crushed. But the time is just, ah, oh, so, so tough when it comes to super witches. Because big boys and the super witches are so slow. Good try. Good try, Ricky. It was well done. Out of here, guys. Yes, the slowness of the super witches makes it tough. But it leads us right to the next hit, which has 10 bats and 12 rocket loons and 25 sneakies. Amen. What are we doing with this hit? What are we doing with this hit? Does. What? Okay, what are the hero equipment? What are we doing here? What is this? Okay. Rocket loons go in. They don't take down any defenses. Okay, now the wizard tower is down. Queen gets recalled. What is this army? What is this army? What is this? Alright, King and Warden down south. Wallbreaker's going in. I don't want to miss where... Okay, and, and of course the recalled Queen went in there too. Log Launcher in. I'm terrified to miss anything. Sneakies are clearing out all the perimeter trash as they, that they can up there in the north part of the base. No! Don't freeze now! I want to know what happens! Oh my gosh. Okay, Warden's Tome pops. Keeps King alive going through the single targeting Inferno. CC pulled the three ice golems. 
RC is in as well. I, I'm just I'm just waiting for the ten bat spells to start getting thrown in. This is just amazing. Sneakies are gonna try to go in and take on the town hall. They're taking on the gold storage there first. Oh, pulls NATO trap. That's huge. So the invis spell has to be for the sneaky. Yep, for the sneakies going into the town hall. He finds one more giant bomb. No invis tower deployment, so you can throw the rest of them in. Throws down the invis, freezes the tower, and the town hall will go down. The bats are right on top of that scatter shot. Look at all those bats on top of the scatter shot. That's crazy. And it's all single targeting defenses after that. Then they go over there and they just swarm everything. RC, Sweeper, Monolith, nothing can stop them. That's so cool! That's so cool! I'm really sorry, Nick, but that was a great hit. What a hit! Look at how many bats there are. Aemon with the mad flex attack. Four stars? I think that's fair. That should be a four star attack. Aemon. Creative Masters for sure. I'm currently crying, says Nick. I went too after that hit, dude. Alright, yup. Good luck following that up, dude. Holy cow. But yeah, if you guys want to join me for the post stream uh, uh, backstage stuff, we could do some editing there too. Artem on YouTube, what is up? We got Queen Charge Dragon Riders. Yop with the lofty task of following up that hit. Ten bats. I've never seen ten bats at Town Hall 10 or 11. Like, good grief. Ten bats is so many. We're getting like Town Hall 12 throwbacks in this war with the Super Witches and the Bat Spells. <laughs> Alright, but King, uh, Flame Flinger, and Queen going crazy with a three pronged attack. King with a really nice jump spell. I don't think it covers this cannon though, so you should go core. Oh, here I am, a big fat liar. Rageous Queen to deal with Monolith and Hound. If Queen takes on this entire core, holy moly. Holy moly. Alright, she deals with the tower. She's dealing with Monolith. Rage is down. The double scatter shot's gonna hurt, but the Dragon Riders will come in the other way, maybe distract a little bit. Eagle Artillery is targeting the Dragon Riders, which are currently invincible. He is running a Frost Arrow. I was wondering why that Monolith was getting slowed up, but it makes sense with the Frozen Arrow. Flame Flinger still doing some great work. So doesn't be invis and freeze for Queen. Just barely catches those healers with the rage. Ooh, that could have been rough. But he's trying to anticipate Queen going further forward. The poison spell goes over towards the Dragon Riders, which kind of hurts a little bit. Still has an invis, though. Queen is in the NATO. Flame Flinger still trying to help. The Flame Flinger throw here against those Builder Huts will help take those down a little bit more. RC gets invis. Already used her ability, but it's just an air defense left. Ground bow will turn and target her eventually. But it is GG's. Yop. Nice triple. Queen charge. Dragon Riders. OP. Let's go. Just a matter of cleanup. In terms of time, not too bad. 30 seconds left over. That's a good hit without Root Riders. Nicely done, Yop. All right, Hussein is in with a pretty simple Hydra army. He's going to set it and forget it. Can't even see the blimp with all those air troops in there. Okay, now he freezes the back end sweeper. Oh, the NATO trap pulled them away, though. Oh, I thought maybe, maybe, maybe the NATO trap would have been just troll enough to make sure the clones were wasted, but nope, no such luck. All right, the Town Hall Bomb, though, does great work. The split is quite strong, but King and Queen are on the outside trying to get as much done as possible. Queen going to take on Enemy King with those drags. 
Dragon Rider on the Eagle, nicely done, takes it down. Still has a freeze left over to use with our C. If you can get through to this poison tower before it pops back up, it's good to go. Builder's trying to keep the Inferno Tower built up. Oh, and he does! Okay, okay, I see you, Builder's Hut. Oh, this is so interesting. This is a defense. It's gotta be a defense, right? There's no way. Nicely done. Nicely done. That NATO trap, I think, really tanked him. Nicely done. Let's go. Come on, Scattershot. Finish him off. Ah, oh, the Poison Tower throws, too. Love it. Love it. Builder set honestly doing some work too. GG's. Alright. Chill is in. This looks like... Relatively the same strat he used before. The Hydra with two healers and Queen with the healer puppet. Yep. And the giant arrow. Yep. Deploys the two invis towers pretty early. There we go. Now all the healers are in. Oh, it'd be so nice if he could take advantage of the two invis towers being gone. But I don't think he'll be able to get there in time. Golly, yeah, good good use of the invis there. That ricochet cannon expo multi archer tower trio there was doing work on Queen. All right, Hydra going in. Blimp going in as well. I mean, the Blimp will get there then in time, chill. I see you. I see you. Gonna snipe out the Town Hall. He does have a clone. Ugh. Freezing. Ugh. Freeze again. Ooh. Nice. Gets it down. Nicely done. Oh, the Town Hall bomb, though, goes crazy. Okay, Invis Tower drops. Gonna have to deal with the other Invis Tower. Come on, Hydra, come back in the base. You're flying away from all the important things. No, <laughs> Dragon, stop. Stop. King over here trying his best. CC Loon gonna distract Phoenix, maybe? Nah, I guess not. RC with the Hog Riders trying to get to those core defenses. RC hasted up, taking down the enemy king. Free spell is. Huge! That was a huge free spell. Unfortunately, now the Invis Tower drops. Gonna push RC over to this Inferno Tower, which is very weak. NATO Trap slows her up, though. Queen coming back with so many healers. I feel like he's got enough oomph to take down this base. Queen's got too many healers to go down. Too many healers to go down. It's all about the Invis Tower timing at this point. 53 seconds, these are the last five buildings, right? Nah, it's triple. Nicely done. Nicely done. GG's chill. Get her done. Just gotta break through all these walls. Deal with the troll in this tower. Potentially? Yeah. You have to stand there and think about stuff for a minute. <laughs> How many invisibility? I mean, I think the invis tower is dropped twice each. <laughs> Queen's got it, dude. Queen will get it. Oh! This is actually the trolliest of troll. That's troll. That's troll. That is actually troll. All right, Yusef is in. Let's go. Zap Sui Lala with a flame flinger. Hey, zapping out the multi archer tower. Really thought about it though. <laughs> Wonder which route King will take here. I guess he no, he's gonna go over to the warden. 
There you go, rocking that little itty bitty Squad Busters King. King will take care of the Town Hall all by himself. No CC coming out. Golly. So strong. So useful. Queen's outside the poison as well. So she won't get slowed up too bad. And the biggest thing probably, Unicorn is safe. Ability pops. She does have Frozen Arrow. She'll take on the Eagle. Golly. Ice Golem was used to keep Queen going a little bit, but not enough to get the Eagle down. The Eagle won't get repaired, but it is going to fire off some rounds. So Warden popped his ability right away. Seeking Shield for RC could be useful to take down the Eagle if he times it right. Freezing the CC troops and Sweeper. Raging those loons. This is looking really trolly. I'd throw RC Shield now. Honestly, take on that Eagle that's shooting rounds at your troops. Goodness me, holding on to that shield forever. All right, one shot's the... <laughs> she tried to run away from the ice goal, but gets frozen in place. Poison now thrown at RC. Fox has got plenty of health, so she'll get invis a couple more times even after throwing her shield. All right, backup hogs coming in. Enemy queen going to shoot off quite a few of those, though. Skellies are tanking for queen, too. Oh, this is weird. There's NATO Trap. Is Enemy Queen still up? She is. Ah, but RC shooting her in the back. So it will be triple. Dang, I thought I thought his uh, defensive queen could have saved the day. Oh, my goodness. Good try on the defense there, Coleman. Good try. I mean, it's, ah, I mean there's tanky structures, but I think RC is strong enough to get through them. Good try. Good try. Fox did some work, for sure. Nick, it was close. It was close. See what he does to Y, me. Zap, Sui, Lalo. Pretty standard stuff. Only five zaps, though. So what do you target with five zaps? Think an Expo and Inferno Tower, right? Not going to get Monolith or Eagle with that. Or Scattershot. Generally speaking, you're probably going to get Rage Tower, Inferno Tower, and Expo with that. All right, Archers did a great job distracting the Flame Flinger. The defense is there. There you go. Get Sweeper, Rage Tower, and Inferno Tower. Loon taking on the other mortars so that Flame Flinger doesn't get targeted. So now all these defenses will go down to the Flame Flinger. The ground Expo, I don't think we'll be able to see him in time. Queen doing a great job going through the bottom of the base here. Ice Golem gets dropped to tank the Expos. Super Wall Breaker to break King in. With the jump spell to go through Eagle. He doesn't have to deploy enough troops to get Eagle going. He can get King to take him down real quick. Ice Golem's doing a great job tanking. GG's. Not a single shot fired by the enemy artillery. Ooh, Giant Bomb trying to get Queen to pop her ability, but she will wait to do it to go through the enemy Queen. That's a super toxic NATO trap to slow down King going through his gauntlet ability. The queen ability pops, she gets her healer, she takes the enemy Queen. Still has a Queen left, still has a healer left over. Ah, oh, I was about to say, and Unicorn, but Unicorn goes down too. CC Dragon doing work on enemy King. The King can't take down the Dragon. The Phoenix will try, but I don't think they'll have enough power to get it down. Lalo gets started. Flame Flinger is still doing amazing defense sniping work here. That's an air and ground expo. So CC Dragon Rider and Loons come out. Oh, it's so unfortunate that the enemy dragon locked onto them. Trying to get his Dragon Rider over to the town hall to snipe it down. Oh, he's not going to have enough juice. Oh, come on, RC. Gonna need you to clean that up, my dear. Ignore the dragon, RC. Ignore the dragon. Just keep pushing through. Man, the minions did work on that dragon, didn't they? Nicely done. Nicely done. GG's, Karen. Alright, warrior is in. 
Let's see if Karen can get the defense. A queen charge, Lalo. Early blimp going in to pull CC and kill Monolith. That's a pretty classic blimp use right there. I saw that as everybody's favorite go-to style of play with the blimp whenever we were using Twin Hogs. A lot of faith in those healers. I was about to say, I don't have that much faith in the healers, man. I'd be throwing that, that rage down so quick. So quick. The jump spell would have reached. Well, there you go. King over here trolling as much as Queen then. Alright, but CC troops are done. Queen taking on some big defenses here. She'll take on even more and even pull the poison tower her way, I believe. Or King will. There we go. Don't know if he can get a super wall breaker to land there, though. Be really, really, really tight. He's trying. He's trying. He's trying to get there. Ah, the rage couldn't get it there. Gets sniped out. So Queen's going to walk around the base. Oh, he had one more. Well, now she has a route in. Now she has a route in. So King will go in and tank a little bit longer. He won't get too much done on the town hall, though. Freezing the town hall because, man, those lasers would absolutely hurt those healers like no other. There we go. Lalo getting going. He has a lot of spell support left over to keep Queen up, and he does. Trying to preserve her ability could freeze right here and get a lot done to keep Queen safe. Uh, nope. Choosing the popper ability. Black Mind's taking on healers, but Queen can power shot through scatter shot despite the poison. My gosh. Queen getting work done. Finds NATO trap, though. Ooh, that's a tricky time to find NATO. With enemy Queen shooting you? Oof. RC still with ability. She's got Seeking Shield and Hogs. There they go. 33 seconds left. Should be plenty of time to clean it up. Close one, Karen. Close defense. It had a chance, but that wall breaker came back over here and let Queen in the core. Oof. All right, Coleman. Let's get it. Yo, Athena, what's up? How's it going? You're playing against Ninja's team later, right? <laughs> All right, zap. Oh, no! Are, are Root Riders allowed? Please tell me Root Riders are allowed. Please tell me Root Riders are allowed. Oh, thank goodness. Please tell me Root Riders are allowed. I was worried for a second there. It should be okay, right? They aren't. Darn it. Darn it. Darn it. <laughs> this is... A different competition, but I don't know if Root Riders are allowed. Cole was sleeping at the wheel. Rip. Rooks, I noticed nobody else used Root Riders. <laughs> uh, well, finish out the attack. Finish out the attack. Get her done. Titan with Root Rider hits does help quite a bit taking on those CC troops. The CC Dragon though has been nuts. Still with another heal, still with another rage. Warden's Tome I think had, yeah I had the rage so you can see the, the aura around. Rocking the spiky balls with Gauntlet I see. Level 22 already, very nice. Can he get a Root Rider to push Queen into the core there? Can he get it done? Throws down a Rage on his King to break through the wall, maybe. Queen over here sitting on a wall, which is super awkward. Super awkward. Is it going to be a voided hit? Or yeah, like, like Storm says, is it going to be a minus one? All right, Queen snipes out the hall. She's got enough healers to get through quite a bit more. 
Hog Riders pop to take on defenses. RC raged as well. On amphetamines, I like to say. Oh, come on, healers, live. Healers need you to live. Rip. Rip the dream. Oh, my frozen arrow going crazy. Nice. Skelly's gonna slow up Queen. Those hog riders in the north, they're trying their best. <laughs> Good try. Avoided, pretty sure. Rip. Rip, rip, rip. I knew for FCC that the root riders were banned. I didn't know if it was the same for Clash Fiesta. Rip the dream. Good try. Hey, the hit gets it done. <laughs> yeah, as he just voided. Yep, that would make sense. That would make sense. Unfortunate, Coleman. All right, why me? Let's see it. Toy Dogs! We were, I, I just talked about Toy Dogs. Just talked about Toy Dogs. I love me some Toy Dogs. So much fun to run that strat. All right, let's see where the blimp goes in. Usually blimp goes in pretty early. Oh, never mind, use a flame flinger. I take it back. I take it back. I take it back. Dang, the wall breaker pulling the Teslas is crazy. Either luck or he knew where those Teslas were. Which I mean makes sense. Throw Teslas down around the mortars. So people have a tougher time flame flingering, but there you go. He knew what to do. He understood the assignment, as it were. Alright, King working on the opposite corner. Gonna Twin Hog through the back end of this base here. Queen will take care of everything here in the core of the base. I don't know if he can get CC to pull before he needs to drop his Twin Hogs, but we'll see. Oh, the Ricochet and Expo doing crazy work. Good freeze to get the Expo and Ricochet to slow down. Frozen Arrow going crazy. Warden's Tome going. Flame Flinger still launching volleys. Does get the CC pull with the Loon. Has a bunch of freezes. Has poisons. Oh, doesn't get all of them, though. Only gets a few archers. Pops her ability. Here come the Twin Dogs. There's the rest of the CC. Gotta invis Queen. Let's Queen die? But you had so many spells. Choosing to save it for the Twin Dogs then. He wants the healers to transfer over to heroes and the, uh, the Super Hog Riders. Flame Flinger again. Still doing legendary work on the south end of the base. Gotta throw down the heal here soon. Gotta throw it right in here somewhere, dude. They're all frozen up, stuck. There's the heal on the northernmost Inferno Tower. For a couple regular Hog Riders, too. Oh, cool, calm, collected, gets it done. Nicely done. RC ability, I'm sure, had more Hog Riders in it. It did. It did. GG's. Clean up time. 38 seconds, plenty of time. Yes, GG's, Nick. Tough, tough, tough when things don't go according to plan. Tough when a team a teammate does uh, the wrong army. But I can't tell you how many times I've gotten into hits with the wrong army. It's so easy to do. So easy to do. He probably hit attack and saw, what is this? <laughs> GG.